this has been a tremendous opportunity for us as game makers to be able to just have complete access. Ready? Working with Universal Pictures, ILM, the director Ang Lee, and all the filmmakers. Okay, here we go. And action! We wanted to create an ongoing Hulk experience. One that leads from the film to the game and beyond. We were able to include key elements from the film in the game and then even go further to extend the Hulk mythology with gameplay you won't see in the movie. Basically, we were running together along through the whole entire process. All the design things that we were doing along, we were sharing with them. The idea is to um, capture in every single detail the world um, that we've created in the movie and translate it into the game world. To really push the bar on the, on the game people's side, to make a character walk and move and do the things that our digital character does in the film. That was quite a challenge technologically, I'm sure, for them also, just as it was for us in the movie. We put a lot of emphasis on our, our physics simulation. The way the player feels that is when you destroy something and debris is created, or you pick up a car and whack somebody with a car, the objects and the characters interact as they would in real life, as per, you know, the laws of physics. Every time you break through a wall and all the chunks and pieces of that wall fall down on the ground, they'll, they'll fall differently every time depending on what, what hit them, what direction they've been hit, and uh, what they're hitting against as they fall on the ground. To create these true physics in the game, it absorbs a lot of processing power. One of the uh, key components that we need to make it really fun is the fighting system. So we have a tool that we developed in-house as the fight tree viewer. Basically this thing lets you tweak, say, Hulk's moves by going through his motion tree. Make it, say, off the gamma button, we can make him do a kick, and then editing uh, specific, say, punches or attacks. One big goal was to make it not feel as if you're a player playing the Hulk, but you are the Hulk. There's two different styles of gameplay in our game, where you have the banner stealth modes, and you also have Hulk destruction missions. We've actually worked with the talent from the film. Eric Bana, playing the character Bruce Banner, he was able to retain his character exactly. While he's doing this film, he was also doing the game for us. Betty, my entire life, Affected by this disease. We were able to let the game open up in San Francisco. We have the Hulk jumping from rooftop to rooftop, downtown San Francisco. Another environment we've been able to bring into the game from the film is the underground military base. And this was this was a really fun one because we got to get our team on the set of the military base and not only get to see just what it looks like, but how it works. Fifty percent of our game is original content, where we create underground worlds uh, that you don't actually see in the movie. Just pretend it's a turning bed. <laughs> we only have two hours in the movie, but the game has a lot more play time. We put in tons of hidden secrets that kind of extend the gaming opportunity and let people just have fun with the Hulk experience as much as they want. Expecting someone else? You now have a game that is incredibly exciting. It's realistic, it's fun. It puts you right in there. The Hulk experience doesn't end when the film's over. away from this movie saying to themselves how is that possible one of the things that was very challenging is to try and incorporate digital effects and not call attention to them I think um, in this film we really kind of hit a new level as you can see here, as he pulls the, the atmosphere, the way the cable snapped back like a snake all have meaning to Aang, the director. And it's all part of the world that he's created. 
the explosion, the destruction, the smoke, the debris is all part of the story. Kane is really, really careful to make the character part of the scene and shooting the character as though he were actually there. We had special challenges of creating a digital character that was emotional, that was able to play scenes um, with Jennifer Connelly and Nick Nolte. In terms of achieving emotion for the character of the Hulk, I think we've set the bar very high. You have to make the body of the Hulk, the muscles, the veins, the tendons, all that becomes um, performance. And so what you're seeing here is actually a concept art, and we literally take the first pass on the animation, and from there, we draw over it, and we try to kind of isolate and think about what happens if a human body actually went from 9 feet to 12 foot. It's difficult to be able to do it in a way that everybody believes it. This is something that's beyond what they've seen, it's beyond what they can imagine. What can we do next to make these movies that much more exciting and entertaining for people to go see?